down behind his fan. Takes the bone. The knife will stop, it won't go through it. Like that. Come all the way down. I like to go a little further than most, but down a little bit. too deep. All you're trying to do is take the skin. There it goes. All the way to his tail. Same thing on the bottom. There's not a lot of meat down there, so you're not going to miss much. This is just to help you later. Deep enough to take the skin, the scales. Oh, sand in there. There you go. And then leave it on the tail. Now, all you're doing. You're opening that first cut you made down the back. Maybe. Stand him up. Keep your knife as close as you can to the bone. And then work the fillet down, having the bones guide your knife. Just like that. This is also how Wayne does it. Wayne's got a good video on his web page, Wayne'sWords.net. He's a biologist here. Lake Powell. This is actually doing pretty good. You just want to let your knife do the work. You can see all the bones? They're not leaving a the fillet there at all. Oh, I did a little bit there. And you get better at it as you practice. No limit on stripers here at Lake Powell, so you can get plenty of practice. And then you can just keep using your knife. Take your time, you'll get better. Right along the ribs, pull as you cut. Oh, I missed a piece. Okay, see his ribs. Keep following his ribs. And keep cutting. Eventually you'll get back to your, your first cut. As you can see, I'm starting to cut through. There it goes. Just like that. It's getting dark. Oh, it's cloudy. And you just want to finish up your cut. It's like that. See, it's all bone in this fillet. Now on the fillet, this is your best part right here, where it's thickest. This is okay, but you don't need to eat it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna move the fish over. I'm gonna keep tension on it. And we're gonna go down along his skin. You get the idea. Keep the tip down, keep pressure. Let the knife do the work. Follow that play. Oh, that did not do very good. Make sure your knife is sharp, because mine's not very sharp now. I haven't sharpened it since after perch season, so it's 
Not the sharpest. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Get a cutting board too, that'll help. I'm just trying to do it on a rock because I don't like making messes in the houseboat. And I almost did it. I still had a little bit of scale on there. It was pretty close. Just try and get it off. In a perfect world, it'll all come off in one piece. Oh my gosh, this knife is dull. Try not to get sand in it. There you go. Filet. With sand. <laughs> no. We'll rinse it off with clean water and then we'll salt and pepper, eat it or fillet it or whatever you want. Where's the clean bag?